Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, uh, the Schmith, yes, the Schmith. Um, American Tier 2 Premium, um, little destroyer. It's got some uh, oddities about it. Uh, but in general, it's, it's kind of a fun little boat uh, to play at Tier 2. Um, Dive into the numbers, 7,300 hit points, which isn't bad. Armour, it's a destroyer. <laughs> uh, main battery is five of these, 76.2mm guns. Uh, these are mounted port and starboard here, but the rest are all centre line. So you can get four guns on target, which is nice. 4% uh, fire chance, which isn't great. Uh, firing range of 6.5 kilometers, which again isn't great, um, but yeah, it's okay. 1100 maximum HE and 1100 maximum AP. To be perfectly honest, with a 76.2 millimeter gun, I, unless you're right next to a, a uh, cruiser, I'd just stick to high explosive on these. Uh, it's not really a lot of point using armor piercing. Torpedoes. Here's the peculiar thing. Three single torpedo tubes. Yes. One port, one starboard, one centre mounted. So you can get two torpedoes out. Two single torpedoes. They travel four and a half kilometres at 54 knots, which isn't too terrible. Um, but they've got a reload of 9.9 .9 seconds which gives you the ability to kind of chain fire them which is pretty cool um, they do 6033 max damage so they're not massively powerful but you can spit them out at quite a rate so yeah it kind of makes up for it um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll look at those when we uh, we get into a match um, two 7.62 pew pew and air things which at tier 2 hopefully you shouldn't get um, in a game with aircraft so it shouldn't really make any odds uh, manoeuvrability 28 knots uh, which isn't great it's, it's reasonably slow for a destroyer but it's tier 2 and uh, yeah most tier 2 stuff let's have a quick look at the Albany uh, 20 knots yep um, in fact, let's let's do this. Tier two. What tier two boats do I actually have? Uh, Strotsovoy. Uh, Nineteen knots. I oh, know that's the uh, the Diana tier two. Sorry, nineteen knots. Strotsovoy. Thirty-five knots. So uh, Strotsovoy is quicker. Uh, so is the V twenty-five. Um, yeah, you're quicker than the Emden, but uh, yeah, it's kind of that that weird you're not quite good enough to be a destroyer um, you're definitely quicker than Mikasa but uh, yeah Tashabana look 30 knots um, so you are you are a slow destroyer but uh, you're quicker than any of the cruisers by quite some way so that's okay um, we'll have a look at that though and see if we can bump that up with the flags 480 meter turning circle and a two second rudder shift both of those are quite good concealment 5.6 yeah 4.5 5.6 so it's a YOLO boat you need to get close or stealthily approach and then um, jump out from behind an island maybe you know do a surprise attack uh, to get the torpedoes in um, yeah I mean it, it, it's, it's decent it is decent uh, Tasha Banner is 5.2 which is I think the only ship in the game that is better um, yeah Struts of Oil 5.8 so it, it's not it's not terrible well look yeah, V25 is better look 5.2 so yeah, 5.6 isn't dreadful, but it's definitely not the best. So, there we go. That is the Schmith. Now, you'll notice we're going to go into a co-op battle. 
uh, and the reason we're doing that is because I just waited five minutes to get into a uh, a normal random battle um, yeah so let's whack a speed flag on it and now we're 29.4 bit more competitive which is good um, is yeah, is there any other flag that might be useful on this um, well I mean you've got yeah, you know, plus credits, minus consumable reloads, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, if we if we do that on there, um, you know, your your reload doesn't change, but the smoke uh, time and your engine boost time will change um, for the better. So that's worth doing. Obviously, you can put dragon flags on, and uh, is that the no, it's the XP that's the flooding flag um, yeah I mean yeah why not why not we'll see if we can do that you could put the fire flags on there um, but you know your artillery it's only got a 4% fire chance you're only gonna bump that up to 6 it's not really gonna make that much difference um, so I'm gonna save those flags so yeah this is the smith let's jump in for a co-op and we'll see how long it uh, makes us wait. I don't know. Look straight in. That's good. Yeah, I sat there for a long time waiting for uh, a random battle when I was just having a couple of games just to uh, see what the boat was like. Um, and I'm not going to make you uh, sit through that. So that's fine. And let's face it, it's tier two. You know, probably better off going against bots at least that way you've only got to worry about uh, seven other people shooting you rather than the whole team and seven other people um, so yeah it's a, it's a tier 2 match so it's worth uh, worth remembering as a premium ship uh, you can pretty much put any captain in this um, I'd recommend probably sticking to destroyer captains because uh, they're going to have the skills that you want um, you know battleship captain isn't necessarily going to have the correct captain skills for a destroyer uh, so yeah it's, wor it's worth remembering you can put anybody in uh, a premium but uh, you are usually better off using a captain of the same class So, what have we got? We got a uh, Samson a Smith and a V25. Right, well, the Smith is going to have the same range as me. V25 is a little bit more sneaky, and I think the Samson, I should see that before it sees me. Uh, so that's okay. So we'll push forwards. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got the V25 coming up here. We have got the Dresden. Let's. Uh, pop and say hello to the Dred Dresden uh, might actually have to just pop a little bit of smoke here uh, reason being is that we are within that uh, spotting range now the Dresden is coming he's coming this way so that's fine I'll get another puff of smoke down uh, and Dresden is pretty much in range let's see where the chest is going oh, I'm going to pop out the smoke for a second and I'm going to launch those at the chester I'm going to get shot at because I am outside of the smoke um, it's just taken my engine but that's fine and we do have the torpedoes back up straight away so it's you know worth remembering these things reload really really quickly so you can get a lot of them out now we've got a nice fire on him which he'll put out and now we've got a flood on him which hopefully he won't be able to uh, repair no so we've got uh, we've got good uh, good damage ticking for damage over time on him now the Dresden is coming round here so I am going to shoot him with the torpedoes and then I'm gonna see uh, Maybe we'll still stick with this one because he's still within the uh, the range there. Uh, 
going to see if we can uh, get another couple of torps into him. We are stuck on the island, I think, but uh, get, get me off the island. Okay, so, yeah, we burnt down that Chester. Uh, that Dresden is heading backwards, so we'll give him some thing. I'm in full reverse here, but things are not going well. Uh, so we are again there. We are off of the island finally, which is probably a good thing. Uh, we've got the Novik over there, which is firing at us. Uh, again, look, torpedoes are back up. That Dresden is accelerating. Uh, they are within our, our cap here, so I could go for some cheeky uh, cap defence ribbons, actually. Let's see if we can get uh, a few of those. There we go, look. All XP. It's all nice. See if we can get another one. Uh, we've got the hit on him, which is uh, good, but didn't get the uh, the defence there. He obviously didn't have any points. Now he does. Right, and he's on fire. This is good. So yeah, I mean, a bit like the V25, you know, live it as a, a bit of a YOLO boat, and you're probably going to be not far wrong. Uh, okay. He's coming up here, he's 1.8 kilometers away. There is no way that uh, even with the best will in the world he's gonna dodge these. Oh, really? Unbelievable. Well, it's a good job they reload so quickly, isn't it? There you go, enjoy those. Thanks for playing. Um, right, and we've got this guy over here, uh, this Dresden, that's fine. Do you know what? We can we can give you some love in as well. There you go. Enjoy from uh, Santa Random. There we go. We'll get him. Uh, so now we're left just with this Samson over here. Really don't mind him spotting me. That's fine. I mean, obviously, you know, American destroyer guns are pretty good so we have to uh, be wary of that but uh, he's retreating back inside his cap we've got uh, our Samson and a Dresden and another Dresden chewing up on him there uh, that Dresden's probably going to cut right across me so that's fine so we we need to get in and see this guy so we'll pop the engine boost and quite high arc on the shells but uh, they're alright they're going the right way <coughs> excuse me uh, so here he comes look around here ah somebody got the kill never mind so yeah, you can see that the Smith, um, it's a boat you need to be busy in, but the uh, the torpedoes are just like pew, 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 <laughs> pew, so it's really good fun. Um, it's not expensive to buy, it's about £4, just over, uh, so $5, something like that. Um, I would thoroughly recommend it. You're not going to get millions of XP. Uh, playing co-op but you will upskill your captain slowly um, and it's worth doing I mean there we are look three sunk yeah let's run through this 24 hits four torps two incapacitations three sunk four fires two floods two defense ribbons always worth going for those because um, they are basically free XP just for hitting the boat um, detailed report Yep, there we go. Two Dresdens and a Chester, which is nice. Uh, yeah, pretty good. 50% hit rate, that's not bad. Uh, Torps launched, yeah, 22%, yeah, something like that. 
Um, fires, we got some damage there. A couple from a uh, couple of floods as well, and then the uh, credits and XP at the end here. We are twenty-eight thousand six hundred twenty-four take-home pay uh, with three hundred and six commander XP. Uh, modifier there is from the uh, camouflage. So yeah, that comes with the ship. So that's cool. Um, and then this chappy here has been upskilled by 306 XP. So he's closer to uh, his next point, which is nice. Because he's only waiting for uh, this one, I think, and he can get a tier four skill. Yeah. So there we go. That is the Smith. What did you think? Um, personally, I think it's a great little fun boat. You know, you're, you're not going to carry a game in it. Um, and I think even with a 15 point captain, although that's due to change shortly, um, if you get Concealment Expert on it, 10% um, of 5 kilometers is 2.5, so it take about half a kilometre off um, so you go down at 5.1 5.2 somewhere around there um, with a 20% reduction I think it is I'm going to check now I think it's 20% 10% uh, do, do, do. destroyers ok sorry not not 20% um, so yeah 0.56 kilometres would be 10% wouldn't it so yeah, 5.1, yeah, around there, somewhere. Um, so that'd be cool. You'd be able to get a bit more sneaky and it'd make the uh, torpedoes a bit more useful. You'd only have half a kilometer to YOLO. Um, so that's not too bad. So yeah, the Smith. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know where the like button is. Um, if you have a comment for me or a question then please let me know down there and uh, if you're new to the channel the old subscribe button is just sitting there waiting for you to touch it indeed but that's enough from me for now so time for me to uh, sign off so it's Captain Random so take care and I'll see you in the next one